Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, Pat here at Card Skill Dreams. First off, I just want to thank everyone for their support. Um, turning subs, new subscribers, uh, comments and likes are very much appreciated. For anyone that may, may be watching and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like, share, all that good stuff. Um, so I haven't I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, uh, just work, work and stuff, uh, trying to keep up with the videos and trying to make comments where I can. Uh, everybody's doing some awesome work out there, so keep that up, guys, and hopefully everybody's staying safe. So today I'm just going to go over my, uh, how I make, um, antennas. So, first of all, the material, some wire cutters and this is guitar string it's a uh, E chord so high E um, I do play guitars occasionally so I do have this laying around and um, have always saved my old chords that's the last bit I have at the high E um, so I've already got went ahead and cut the piece that I need here and then the rod that I'm using is 364. Um, so this one here, this is uh, 116, so you can just kind of a reference for size. Uh, quite a bit, yeah, about half the size, I guess. Almost a little less. Okay, so I'll just get into it. Um, so the first thing I do is drill a hole into the styrene. First I am going to, first what I'll do is use my black sharpie and just blacken that just so I can see it a little better and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see it a little better. I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way. So I don't need it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I probably sh best if I start a pilot hole. If I can find my needle. Oh, where I put it, I should have probably <laughs> had that ready to go. Mm, yeah, I can't find it, so... Oh, here it is. It was right where I wasn't looking. Okay, so I'll start with trying to get a hole right in the middle here. I think I did fairly well. And then I'll go ahead and drill. So I'm only going to want this less than 1 16th, so it's not going to be very, the hole doesn't need to be very deep. You can see there it's, well maybe you can't see, but it's fairly centered. I did buy some new a new drill set mini drill set um, my drill all my bits have snapped off so it's a bit of a pain so when I went to the city there last week I uh, got a bunch of new stuff which I will do a video on later. But for now. See if I can get this in there. So 
that does fit. I'm going to need it to go right through. Let's see if I can. widen this out a little bit goes in a ways <clears throat> okay so <sighs> now I want this to go as far as I can go in so it's not very not quite centered in the hole in the center and kind of it's a bit of a pain it does go down quite a ways though so I'm going to have to try and straighten out the hole a bit Okay, we'll try that. So once I Once I get it cut, I'll be able to manipulate it a little better to Okay, so I just now I want to go along and take the material off the side, turning it as I go. Shaving it. Eventually shaving it down until it's almost the same width as the <clears throat> the guitar wire. Bit of a slow process. Yeah, 
Let's see where we're at. So I'm just going to mark this. I didn't see much material in that. I'll just keep whittling it down. Blade isn't very sharp, so you don't want to take too much material. It's really easy to, to overdo it. What I'm doing is just uh, shortening my shortening my strokes. As you can see, it's getting down there pretty close. And now I'll just work the top part. Just shaving a little bit off, turning it as I go. Yeah, and I think that'll work right there. Oh, a little more extra material on this side. I want to. Look like it's centered. And then I'm just going to scrape the last bit of material. Just kind of smooth it out a bit. So if you can see that. It looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see if I can get and then I'll cut it. rolling it without putting too much pressure and there we have there we have it we'll zoom in 
so you can see a bit better. See that a little bit well. There we go. So I'll glue this something like that. And then I'll paint it with the uh, Molotow pen. So yeah, I'll glue it, paint it with the Molotow, and then it'll be done. So I'm already 16 minutes in. Um, pretty sure you guys kind of get the gist of what, how, how it's done. So... Um, yeah, so just like I said, glue it here, paint it with Molotow, leave this end, so it'll give you a little bit of extra material to, when you glue it down, right, and then, so then it'll sit like this. Just like that. <laughs> and then there it is just on its own. So yeah, that's how I do my antennas, try and get them to look a little more realistic. So thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, hope when everyone's safe out there, and uh, we'll see y'all soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.